Hi there everyone, this is Laura, the director of the Flagstaff Yoga Festival, and I thought I'd pop up this quick video just to answer some very commonly asked questions that I get asked all the time by prospective exhibitors, and maybe this will help you out with some of your questions too. So for exhibitors, um, I want to first of all explain the layout of the festival at Flagstaff so that you can really understand why we've set up the exhibitors where we have. The festival itself is held at a K-8 through Waldorf-inspired church charter school in Flagstaff called Pine Forest Charter School and it's a beautiful campus um, all of the buildings in um, all of the inside of the buildings the classrooms have sort of watercolors and leisures all over the wall you know classic Waldorf school so we just take all of the desks and chairs out of that school um, out of the classrooms and so then we have nine open spaces to do yoga in throughout the weekend so it works really well for the presenters, but how it functions really well for the exhibitors is because of the configuration of the buildings that house those classrooms. So the buildings are basically an L-shaped configuration of buildings like that. And then in the middle of those buildings, there's a courtyard area, an outside courtyard area. And of course, when our students and attendants funnel out of the workshops, they funnel onto that courtyard in the center. So that's where we put you guys. That's where we put the exhibitors. And that way you get really great traffic flow into the exhibit area. There aren't any set hours to exhibit in. And we just ask the exhibitors use their common sense. And, you know, basically, if you look at the schedule, obviously you're going to have your busiest times in between workshop times although there are going to be people on the courtyard and exhibitor area at all times and one of the reasons why there are, there's always traffic of some sort onto the exhibit area is because generally we sell a lot of five class punch cards to the festival which means that we have people staying for two or three days at the festival but they're only actually attending five workshops and for the rest of the time they're hanging out they're getting bodywork teaching um, treatments or they're browsing in the exhibitor area. So there's always a pretty good traffic flow but your heaviest times are certainly going to be in between workshop times and during meal times. So there isn't a set setup time or finish time um, at the festival at all. I do recommend if you can to either set up on the Thursday evening as it's a three-day event, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or you can set up very early on Friday morning and that way you catch the entire time. But that isn't necessarily set in stone, that's just my recommendation. And again, like even though I don't have like a set, like you have to close down at this time, I really highly recommend that if you can, you should stay as late as you can on the Sunday afternoon and even into the Sunday evening. What tends to happen with the attendants on Sunday is they've been browsing whenever they get a chance all weekend long and then usually on Sunday afternoon we'll get um, a, a lot of them actually wanting to buy um, before they go home. So if you leave before Sunday afternoon to get a head start on traffic or whatever, um, it can sometimes not work entirely in your favor for that reason. It's best if you can stay the entire time. I just find that you'll make more sales that way. The other thing that we get a lot of questions about is security. A few recommendations there. Obviously, you get a 10 by 10 spot on the marketplace floor to use in whatever way you want when you get an exhibit spot. So if you have a 10 by 10 canopy or tent that you can borrow or bring along, that's fantastic, especially because it's usually quite sunny. If we do get a monsoon shower or two, it's nice to have a canopy as well. Um, not required again, but recommended. Um, and then within that 10 by 10 area, you can essentially do whatever you want. And even if you need a little elbow room outside of that spot, usually our exhibitors are pretty friendly people and they'll cooperate with you and, and try to make it work for each other. So that's always very nice. Um, but if you can, bring like some something like... Um, you know, some sort of siding to that exhibit area for yourself, some tarps or or some blankets or something that you can put up around it so you can sort of close your area up at night. Um, or I know some tents come with that bit that you can roll down, that's always good too. I do employ a security guard who will be sitting in the middle of all of the exhibitors, all of the night long, and we keep all of the floodlights for the school on all night long as well for added security. In addition to the security guard and the lights on premises, the other thing that I can offer you is if you have any really valuable inventory that you would like to actually lock away in one of the buildings every night, we can do that for you too. 
I make the middle school building available for that reason every evening and we just simply have the exhibitors move their um, inventory in there, any inventory that they want to put away they can put in there from about six o'clock onwards every evening and then I will literally lock it up inside the building. Um, so that's about as secure as you can get really and then as long as you have that out of there and back in your exhibit area at nine o'clock the next morning you're good to go. Like as long as we have that stuff out before the first yoga class in the middle school building, which is about 9 or 10 o'clock every morning, then we're great. One other thing that I forgot to mention um, is our attendance. Um, exhibitors ask about our attendance all the time. Generally, over the course of three days at the Flagstaff Yoga Festival, we actually get about a thousand attendants through. But it doesn't actually feel like that because our attendance is a regional attendance, not like a national attendance. So, um, for instance, I'm, I'm told that, you know, average yoga journal conference is going to pull in about 900 to 1200 or 900 to 1400 attendees over their two-day conferences. Um, of course, to exhibit there, I think it's like $2,000 or something. But uh, th that attendance is national, so it tends to be that all of that attendance at the Yoga Journal conferences will fly in, like pretty much all at one time, and be there for the entire duration. So it's a very large feeling event. Our attendance isn't like that. Our attendance is regional. We'll have people hop up for the day from Scottsdale or Tucson or Las Vegas or Albuquerque or Prescott or Sedona or just locally here in Flagstaff. Um, but they'll pop up for part of the festival, not all of the festival, and that's why we sell flat five class punch cards. So at any one given time on campus, you'll have anywhere between about 200 and 400 people, but then over the duration of the three days of the festival, you'll actually end up with about a thousand unique visitors through the entire festival grounds over the three days. So our attendance does actually get to be that same number, and you're actually quite central you know, with your exhibit spot on the marketplace, as opposed to like a larger conference where there's an exhibit hall, but people actually have to make a point to go visit. So your traffic flow can be, you know, whatever it is. But at our event, you're in the middle of everything and you will get about a thousand unique visitors over the course of the three days total. Um, so that's about all of the questions that I get, like, asked the most about. I am going to be, if you're if you're perusing the Flagstaff Yoga Festival website, just know that as we get closer to the festival, there's going to be a tab on the menu bar there um, that says Marketplace, and we will list you on that website with a link to your website if you have a website. So that's another benefit that you have coming your way if you sign up for an exhibitor spot. Generally, if underneath this video you see an order form and a link with my phone number on it, you know that we've got some spots left and you can go ahead and call me um, to get a spot or you can fill out that form to get a spot. Either way is absolutely fine with me. And feel free if you have any other questions at all about exhibiting at the Flagstaff Yoga Festival to give me a ring. My number is 928-380-4538. You're welcome to call me anytime and I hope to see you at the 2012 Flagstaff Yoga Festival. Bye now.